Hello, and welcome to my first video tutorial. I'm making it because one, someone asked me to, and I thought, why not? And two, I wanted to check out some software elements anyway. So here's what you should know. First, this is a Photoshop tutorial on how to create a map with an Atlas graphical style. The specific graphical technique was developed by a user named Ascension on the Cartographers Guild forum. He also wrote the original tutorial document for this style. I made a revised presentation of that tutorial aimed at streamlining the steps for my own use. I realized it was pretty straightforward, so I added some instructions and tested it on some people who've never used Photoshop or any other kind of graphic design software. After some feedback and some more revisions, I thought I had something that would be pretty helpful to other Photoshop beginners. So I published my version on the Cartographers Guild forums with Ascension's blessings. I've tried to keep his style intact as much as possible. I did make an extra effect for the mountains. Sometimes it gives a really interesting effect, other times it looks pretty bad. So it's added in such a way that it's easy to remove if you don't like it. I also created a Photoshop action step version of this tutorial to create the style very, very quickly. But I recommend doing that only after doing the full version so you know what's going on. Both the regular and action step versions are available on my post on the Cartographers Guild forum. I also recommend getting the written document version of this tutorial to follow along. I'm literally going through the document step by step on a side screen so the viewer can see exactly what the document refers to in each step. If you know Photoshop's interface and tools already, you can probably skip this video and just read the document. Okay, so let's get the tutorial document if you don't have it already click this link to go to the Cartographers Guild website forum. It's also on the description below. On the post, you want to grab the attached document called Ascension Atlas Style Revised. We don't need the one that says Action Companion in the file name. So just download that, save the file, and load it up. Okay, done with the browser. Here we go. Now, there are a lot of steps in this tutorial, so if it's your first time, just go step by step. You'll be more familiar with where things are headed when you want to experiment later. Okay, so let's load Photoshop. Now, it's probably easier if we're both using the same overall layout. So go to Window, Workspace, Essentials. If you've moved things around in this workspace like I have, then we need to reset the workspace as well. So go to Window Menu, Workspace, Reset Essentials. Now we should look pretty similar. In the tutorial document, I'm at Chapter 3, Part 1. And you can look at the top right corner of the screen to see what step we're on. All right, so step one, create a new document. Control N. Okay, name. I'm gonna call it my map. You can call yours whatever you want. I'm using the tab key to move to the next field. Width, 2000 pixels. Height, 2000 pixels. Resolution, 300 pixels per inch, that's good. Background contents, white. Notice there are other settings available we did not configure. If I don't mention them, you shouldn't need to change them either. However, if something doesn't work right, just pause the video and read the settings off the screen capture. All right, click OK or press Enter to confirm this dialog box. And here's our new document. Now we have our first layer in the Layers panel called Background, which is white, and it is selected. Step two, set colors to default, D. In the tools panel, you can view and change the current foreground color and background color. So if I change the foreground to green and background to purple, now when I press D again, you can see them change to foreground black and background white again, the default colors. All right, create a new layer and name it Ocean. Control Shift N, name Ocean, okay. Render Clouds Filter, 
So filter menu, render clouds. Duplicate the layer and name it shape land. So control alt J, shape land. Okay. Create a new layer with default settings. Control alt shift N. Fill shift backspace to bring up that dialog box. Set use to 50% gray. Okay. Set the layer blending mode to hard mix. Still on layer, layer one. So near the top of the layers panel are the blending mode, opacity, and fill settings. So click the layer blending mode dropdown box and set that to hard mix. Note the dropdown box still has this blue outline around it because it's still selected. Press enter or escape to leave that element. Select layer shape land. This seems pretty simple, but the layer panel can be tricky depending on where you click or how you click on a layer. Left click, right click, double click, holding a modifier key like control or alt, these all do different things. If you just want to select a layer, like in this step, I recommend just clicking the empty space near the name of the layer. So left click to select the layer shape land. All right, moving on. Select the brush tool, B. Now, B is actually the shortcut for four different tools. You can hold the shift key while you press B to cycle through them. Brush, pencil, color replacement, and the mixer brush. In the tools panel, you can click and hold the tool icon to expand it and see those four different tools. There are many tools that work this way. Also, notice when I select a different tool, the settings displayed in the control panel also change based on the active tool. Okay, so select the brush tool, B. Make sure the right one is selected, so shift B if you need to cycle through them. In the control panel, we'll set the flow to 10%. And on the image canvas, right click to bring up the quick settings to set the size and hardness. Set the size to 300 and hardness to zero and hit enter to confirm that. And you can always adjust the size as needed. With the brush tool selected, we'll shape the land and water areas of our map. Draw on the image canvas with the brush tool by clicking or dragging with the left mouse button. The foreground color is black, so I'm drawing with black. Black represents the water areas on the map, so I'm making my land an island by drawing black around the edges of the canvas here. Now I can press X to swap my background and foreground colors. So now I'm drawing with white to add more land. And you can just keep swapping back and forth and drawing water and land until you're happy with the result. Okay, that looks fine for now. If you want to zoom in for more detail, you can use the zoom tool, Z, then click to zoom in or alt click to zoom out. You can also just hold alt and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out even when you're using other tools. Notice when you press alt, that will activate the menu shortcuts, so you may have to press escape if that happens. Also, when zoomed in, you can temporarily use the hand tool hold spacebar and drag the mouse on the image canvas to pan and scan around. You might want to pause here and finish shaping your land and water before you move on. All right, select layer, layer one, merge down layer, layer one, so control E, and double check that we're using our default colors, so hit D, and we're gonna select color range, Alt S C. Select, set to sampled colors, localized color clusters should be unchecked, fuzziness one. This selects black pixels because that's our current foreground color. Okay. So that creates a selection, which are those dotted lines. Some people call them marching ants. Delete selected, delete. And some older versions of Photoshop have issues with this. So I hit delete twice. 
deselect, control D. And that brings us to step 18. So we're going to finalize this land shape. When I zoom in, you can see some of the border areas are kind of noisy. You can either follow step 18A to keep it as is, or 18B to smooth these borders. So to keep it as is, just rename layer shape land to base. I want to smooth my borders a bit, so step 18B. Make a new layer named base. Control Shift N, name base, okay. Now hide layer shape land and create a selection from layer shape land. So here's why I don't recommend just clicking anywhere in the layers panel. Hold control and click the layer thumbnail of layer shape land. Notice layer base is still selected. However, on my image canvas, a selection was created in the shape of layer shape land. All right, sub step four, smooth selection. Alt S M S. Sample radius one is great. Okay. Now double check our default colors, D. And we're gonna fill with background color, control backspace and deselect, control D. So you can see the difference. I'll hide layer base and show layer shape land again. You can see how much noisier it is. Sub step eight is optional. If you wanna try a different amount of smoothing, you can step backwards three times by holding control, alt, and hitting Z three times. That puts you back to just before you smooth the selection in sub step four. And just continue again from there. So smooth selection, alt S M S. Try a different sample radius if you like. One is fine for me. Okay. D for default colors. Fill with background color, control backspace. Deselect, control D. And once you're happy with that, we'll move on to sub step nine. Select layer shape land, delete that layer. Delete, we're done with that one. Okay, so let's move on to part two, the ocean. Let's zoom back out, Z for zoom tool. Double check, we should have three layers. Layer base, the shape of our land. Layer ocean, which is the cloud pattern. And layer background, which is just white. Make sure they're all visible. All right, let's roll. Step 20, hide layer base. Select layer ocean. Duplicate the layer and name it land. Control Alt J. Name land, okay. Hide layer land and select layer ocean. Add a color overlay layer style. Alt L Y V. Click the color box to set the color. You can set the color in a few ways. The tutorial lists the hex color code as well as the red, green, and blue values. Hex codes are faster, so 6EA0C8, a nice light blue. If that's not what you get, you should double check your hex code. Okay. Set the opacity to 75%. And okay. Step 25, lighting effects filter. Now this filter is totally different in Photoshop CS6 compared to previous versions. So in a moment, you're gonna see two links come up, one for CS6 and one for CS5.1 and earlier versions. We'll come back together after step 25. 